Low motivation can hinder language acquisition because, as with the low self-esteem and anxiety, it blocks language stimulation from reaching the brain. This block is also known as an effective filter. High motivation, on the other hand, results in an increased ability to learn and use a new language. Well, uh, first of all, uh, the arts experiences can be very motivating, and motiv high motivation levels uh, is one of the factors in lowering the affective filter. So if the students see that there's a value and a meaning to participating in an experience, then they're sort of going to be less reserved about using whatever language they have to participate in such an experience. You can see the student almost come out of their, th themselves and they want to be part of that group experience. Um, if you uh, were to just have um, a typical, you know, you point to the student and ask them to give you an answer to a question, you know, all the focus is on them and they might be shy or unable to uh, pull the language together in order to answer a question on the spot. But when they're part of this experience, um, they think more about what is going on versus what they're going to say about what's going on and that helps them to jump in and be part of the um, experience. By putting the students in groups um, they watch what others are doing and they say oh well if that student can do it I think I can do that too and they're you know more um, accepting of trying something new because they have the support of their friends and the collaborative group. Start with low focus activities. At the beginning of the residency, many teaching artists use activities where there isn't a lot of focus or attention brought to one particular student. A feeling of being on the spot can put students' defenses up. Activities where the whole class is playing or speaking together can make students relax and then they are more willing to participate fully. Model for your students how to put yourself out there. Classroom teachers jumping in and participating in games and other arts activities is a great motivator for students. It adds a lighthearted sense of fun when students see their teachers dancing or acting out a character. The fun can lead to more motivation and student participation. Celebrate success. Build in lots of opportunities for students to validate each other in their arts work. Hearing positive feedback helps students to feel successful and encourages them to keep putting themselves out there. Students see success in these experiences and that's really important for who they become as a learner. They need opportunities to feel successful where they can accomplish. Um, often in a traditional academic setting, they're told they can't. They're told that, you know, they're not ready to do that or they are given tasks that um, are cha too challenging without enough support and they see failure too often. And in these experiences through the arts, they find a place where even if it's, you know, in small increments, they see success and that sort of, you know, gets them engaged more and helps to move them forward um, to try more uh, and, and again to take risks as well because they saw that it worked out the first time and, and it's a comfortable place to make a mistake so um, they can learn from those mistakes in sort of a sheltered kind of sense and um, that moves them forward in their learning and it helps them to become more aware of themselves as learners and to take more um, ownership of the learning process. Everyone has a story to tell, everybody has a voice that wants to be heard and for language learners sometimes their voice can't be heard in language um, but they come with a skill set or a, a you know 
uh, different uh, areas of creativity that unfortunately they can't express in a typical classroom setting. So these arts experiences allow give them a platform to actually share their voice um, and it's not solely relying on their language proficiency to do that. So they, they find a means through these um, artistic creations to really show who they are um, and, and to let others know what they're thinking and what they have to say.